Yo guys, how's it going? Mad Gas here, and for this video, we're delving deeper into certain areas on the giant that no one has seemed to covered before, and that is the loading screen and its secrets. Now, from back in the day of World at War, the loading screen looked like this. As you can see, it's a loading screen, it's got the map, the blueprint of Durais or the giant, it's got a film reel on there, or um maybe the Thompson ammo reel and one of the kind of power bulbs the cell the electricity cell that is used on the Wonder Waffle there's a cutoff finger there with some sort of measuring equipment and stuff like that for these type of blueprints now nothing stands out of the ordinary on this version of the World at War Derry slash the giant loading screen now fast forward to Black Ops 1 and we see the loading screen has changed. It's now been turned into a style of comic book type stuff. Because that's how the Black Ops Zombies universe worked. It showed us everything through a comic book strip style thing. As if it was a comic book opened up in the pages. And we could see in front for the next map and behind for the map previously. And the Darius one was modified in this. The bloody finger was removed. But everything else pretty much remained the same. The bloody eyeball was also changed to a, a bolt from a big giant screw. I'm not entirely sure why they did this, they toned down the violence on this version of the loading screen, but once again, nothing significantly has changed or stands out on this version of the loading screen. Now we are here with Black Ops 3 and they have re-released the Darius map, the giant, and they've also modified the loading screen once again. The blueprint pretty much remains the same with all those question marks on there that people are speculating. We still have everything in the foreground the same, the bloody finger has returned, uh, the eyeball has returned. We now have a clearer image of the map as well. We've got the Wonder Waffle uh, lightning cell there, the ammo reel and stuff like that, and all the things that were from the World at War version are now back on the Black Ops 3 version. The only thing that I'm going to point out, guys, there is some more stuff behind this map. Now, if you think back to when the Black Ops era was, the very first ones, they were using comic book style stuff, so the pages were opened up and parts of the page were torn off so you could see behind the page to a future map and you can also see behind the other page to the left of it which would be the previous map now maybe Treyarch are going along with something like this on this loading screen for the giant because I believe the giant is holds more secrets than we are led to like believe with what Treyarch is saying with Easter eggs and stuff but yes if you look behind the actual blueprint here on the giant loading screen we can see something really interesting now if you head on over into multiplayer and check out the map combine and in one of the main rooms on the map there is a poster a framed poster if you will and that framed poster is of a weapon that we had in moon which was the last dlc for black ops 1 and that weapon is the wave gun it was a dual wielded kind of uh, wonder weapon that fired electricity bolts but you could also join it together and create a bigger charge of electricity so this is the blueprint for the wave gun now, why is this inside the multiplayer map combine? And more importantly, guys, why is it hiding behind the Darius loading screen map? As you can see, as I line up both blueprints, obviously the wave gun's in front, but the one that's hiding behind the Darius map is the blueprint of the wave gun. Why is this on the Darius loading screen? We don't have the wave gun inside of the giant, inside of Darius. Why is this here? Right, so okay, bear with me on this one, guys. This one could blow your mind. In Darius, we have cipher codes. And one of the cipher codes reads, when translated, the cell below the waves is where honor suffers. Waves, wave gun, cell. The cell is what the wave gun uses as an ammo. It's like an electricity cell. It's like a... That's what cells are called, like a battery pack has cells in them. And that gun uses not ammo, not traditional ammo, it uses electricity cells, an electricity ammo pack, which would be a cell to power itself. It is the wave gun. That kind of ties in, in my mind, to the Darius cipher code in the cell below the waves is where Honor suffers. Maybe this is going to be in the new map, Der Eisendraken. Maybe Treyarch are bringing back the kind of foreshadowing of future maps by hiding little clues in the loading screen of the previous map. So Darius has got a blueprint of a wonder weapon that is not in any of the game modes that we have currently on Black Ops 3. Maybe this is going to be one of the wonder weapons in the new map, Der Eisendraken. Not saying it's going to be the only wonder weapon, 
but it may be one of them. Call of the Dead had a few wonder weapons in there. There's no reason why they wouldn't put more than one wonder weapon in the new map. But yeah, this is something cool I thought you guys would enjoy. And if you did enjoy it, I mean, leave comments down below or what you think. And maybe just some crazy theories, but everything seems to tie in pretty well at my end to what I believe could actually be happening. Why hide a blueprint in there? Why these cipher codes that mention stuff about cells and waves when we have got a wave going inside the game, hidden inside the game already, but it's not actually used yet? Insane. Absolutely insane, guys. That is my, my mind-blown video for today. It's actually hurting my brain thinking about this now, yes. Will we be getting the wave going in the Der Eisendracken new map coming with the new DLC map pack Awakening? Who knows, I hope we do guys, but if you like this video, hit that like button please, it really helps me out. Comment down below what you think of this, your opinions on this. If you're new on my channel, please subscribe and continue to dropkick your grandma.